Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John, or Last Frontier Bricks, and this is my review of the LEGO Star Wars 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack from 2023. It is set number 75345, comes with 119 pieces, including 4 figures, and retails for $20. Here is the front of the box, has the orange stripe from the 2023 yeah, I'll line up stating that this is a Clone Wars set, naturally, and shows off all four of your figures, those being a clone specialist, an officer, and two heavy troopers, which, of which they show one of them, uh, uh, manning the, uh, the main build, which is a small-scale AV-7 cannon. Yeah. Now, on the back of the box, it, show, it shows all four of your figures and the cannon, and uh, as well as showing off that if the, this does have some range of motion and a oh and a spring loaded shooter as you can see it's in regular or uh, is a box with the tab op open so let's go ahead and get this guy open all right looks like it's oh oh there is actually two bags for this this, 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 well, technically three A for all the attachments for your clones, and here is your instruction manual. Very, so, uh, very small, or even for stuff its size. This just goes straight into the build. Well, this show, uh, shows all the pieces at the end, along with a hand, uh, uh, along with a couple of other sets. Those being the bo well fits uh, uh, starch. If Michael Fighter and the TIE Bomber, both of which I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. So, I think I'm going to do what I've been doing with the Halo sets, and I'm going to do a time lapse of building this little set, starting right now. Alright, so the build is done. That took about, I don't know, 10 15 minutes. Nothing too crazy. But for, you know, let's go ahead and start off with uh, taking a look at everything this set has to offer, starting with those minifigures. So, first off, we have our officer. Alright, he's going to make use of the rangefinder in blue for the helmet uh, holes. That's one thing I'm gonna, uh, you're probably going to like about this set if you don't like the helmet holes. Uh, you don't have to uh, look at most of them because they're all used. Uh, he is equipped with, with a uh, the standard hostile style blaster. They are uh, though it does come with it. Though the set does come with an extra one. Uh, I think the one thing people might be disappointed about is they they have the uh, the printed waist cape instead of the phys physical one, uh, which they which they've been doing for uh, for a while. Oh, don't know why they stopped doing waist capes because like. They did as recently as the most recent version, in the most recent version of General Grievous Starfighter with the 212th Aerial Trooper. But after that, they stopped doing them. Why? I don't know, but they did. Uh, anyway, uh, other than that, uh, other than that, he's got good in the, in the ending, ending on the front, front torso. A little disappointed that um, they don't have the blue go all the way up to the ridge on the helmet. They show it on the box, but they don't in the actual figure. Don't know why. A good printing on the back, and here is his head. Same one we've been getting since the original 501st Battle Pack, and it's the same head you get in all four figures in this set. Uh, all in all, not too bad a figure. And silly, silly me, I only just noticed that I put the wrong torso on the officer, because he's supposed to have the, the uh, belt and ammo packs in blue. The one I was showing you off was, this, was the specialist. Sorry about that. And speaking of our specialist, here he is, this time wearing the right torso. Uh, so, sa so, same torso I showed off before, different legs this time, as you can see, so you, you don't... So he doesn't have the, the painted waist cape. 
Ape. Ape is his weapon is the standard Star Wars blast blaster ri rifle, oh, with uh, the candle attachment f f to, f to make that extra l large barrel, and, and he has the mic uh, the macro binocular attachment for his, his helmet, which can be raised uh, raised uh, up. Say, uh, same and back to uh, torso. Oh, actually, there is a difference with. Well, for the officer, it, as it's in, as it's got more blue on it. All right, so good. So good thing I brought that up. Okay, so yeah, a little fumbled up with the uh, the figures there, but either way, they're both good-looking figures. And finally, we have uh, two, uh, two of these is heavy troop, uh, troopers against. He's got a bit of extra armor on the to on the torso. His weapon. It uses the classic uh, uh, Lego alien and uh, uh, got on with the binoculars attached and show which you, which you can see right there. Sim uh, simply attach it to uh, uh, to the binocular uh, and you're good. Personally, I prefer to show off the weapon like this so it doesn't really you know, show off the stud hole for the binoculars. And his helmet, his helmet's a bit, it's a bit different. You can. And see a bit extra uh, armor on the helmet head, and he's he's got got the uh, uh, this the vi uh, the visor for the helmet, which again can uh, can can be raised up. And you might have noticed in my uh, in the uh, the time lapse, I almost forgot to put uh, put on this piece. It, this goes on neck attachment and uh, via neck neck attachment, and that is I am happy to say a printed piece. Go ahead, take that off, and see what it looks on the back. So you can and see the straps for the extra armor on there. Again, just simple neck attachment. And so just sign so so the neck attachment, put it on the head, put on the helmet, and he's good, good go. All in all, a pretty decent selection of figures for a battle pack. And here is our cannon. Relatively simple build, but pretty accurate. Uh, to what you see in the Clone Wars TV series, I like the additions of the little of uh, the uh, bits of of uh, mm, yellow, r red, and black throughout, as it helps break uh, break up the big uh, all the gray. Oh, uh, there are also some metallic gray right here with the teeth pieces. The legs are somewhat adjustable. You can uh, oh they can uh, they can slide left uh, left to uh, left to right right on the joint. Ains, ains, and the, ains, and the jo uh, and the the joints can be adjusted in the middle as w as well. There is a a trans and uh, circular piece at the bottom to help stab uh, stabilize it. There is just enough room for one clone trooper here. No, uh, oh, there's no like controls, or or or, or um, friend to talk. Uh, oh, so, so. Well, for him, but he does slide in there, nice and e easy. E he's not going anywhere, and, and as the box showed, oh, the cannon is so a lot adjustable as in King aim from basically basically straight for uh, forward to just a little higher, and of course it is spring loaded. So it, it fires, it fires pretty well, pretty decently. Don't worry if you lose uh, the uh, the launch. The uh, the bolt. There is a second one provided. So pretty basic for, or about for a uh, a battle pack build. But nothing, but nothing too crazy. And and uh, I don't think it's one most people would mind getting multiple of. And finally, here are your extra pieces. As I said, there is an extra bolt for the spring load shooter, plus an extra blaster for your officer, and and the quite a few extra attachments. And for your clone troopers, an extra, an extra mi micro binocular, three a range fighters, and two visors. Nice, uh, nice bit of collection, and, and uh, of uh, additions for your clone troop, for your clone army. So with every, so that is everything in this set. Let's go into fi my th final thoughts. So for a twenty dollar battle pack, um, I got made. I gotta wonder if this is worth the, uh, if this is worth the price, and not just for. Uh, those uh, price for peace guys who, who think it, get that uh, every set is supposed to be ten cents per piece. At a uh, hundred nineteen piece is for twenty bucks. That's a um, that might be a bit 
a tough pill to swallow. Uh, Amelie, like I said, it is a good range of figures, and the build uh, and the build isn't uh, too bad for a uh, for a battle pack. Um, I'm just not sure if uh, the the price uh is um uh, I'm just not sure of what you get um makes the price price worth it. You might want oh you might want to see if you can and uh, uh get this on sale or you see some VIP VIP points to uh, lower down the price. But other than that, I think this is a pretty good set. So that will be it for this little review. Thanks for joining me for it. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. You can check out my channel and some more of my content on the end screen in just a few seconds. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everybody.